my friends, and welcome to Paulina Art. Today, I'm going to be doing this beautiful and peaceful Christmas painting with some reindeer. I love animals, and I think they just add so much to a Christmas painting. I'm going to call this painting Peace on Earth, hoping that peace will come and hunting will be illegal and forbidden. I'm only going to use three colors in this painting, blue, white, and black. This is my own creation. I'm going to leave a link to the pattern that you can download for free. If you would like to see how I created this painting, stay with me and let's paint together. I'm working on nine by 12 canvas, which I have prepared last night with a coat of gesso. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to place my pattern on my canvas exactly where I want it. And I'm going to secure it with some painter's tape so it doesn't move on me. For now, the only thing I'm going to trace is the landline. On my palette, I have my blue, white, and black. And by mixing these three colors, I created this dark bluish gray, which I'm going to use for the sky. And for the sky, I'm going to use my sponge, which I have rinsed. With my sponge, I'm picking up some of that dark gray blue. And I'm going to start on the outer parts of my canvas. You can also do the edges of the canvas at this time. It always looks nice and more finished. And for the center, we're going to use the same color, but we're going to add more white. And I'm going to keep adding light and dark until I'm happy with my background. We want the lightest part in the center of our canvas. And with the clean side of the sponge, we can blend. We're gonna let the sky dry for now and we're going to do the snow on the ground. For the snow, I'm just mixing my blue with my white to create a pale blue, not too, too light. And I'm gonna start creating the effect with my round brush. You can use a palette knife if you prefer. And again, you can do the sides of your canvas. We want the effect of lots of fresh snow. You can do the bottom of your canvas too. With a round brush, I'm going to go back to my sky and darken a little bit more of the edges. And with a dry mop brush, I can blend it in. You can use the sponge, continue using the sponge if you like. But this is just to do the areas that I feel I need to touch up a little bit. Once 
you're happy with your with your sky we're going to mix a very light gray blue with our three colors and I'm going to dab a few trees on the back here very very light as if they're in the distance you needed more blue I'm just dabbing with my my brush creating the effect of trees on the background I don't want a lot of detail because these are further back We can add some white to create the effect of snow on them. We're only going to add the white on the side of the light. These trees are lost in the distance in the valley. trees dry we can add more snow effect in here especially in the center we want more light where the light is coming from we have to be patient now and let it dry or we can use a hair dryer while my tree is dry, I'm going to add some white dots with my round brush. And with a soft, dry mop brush, I'm going to blend them a little bit. to let all of this dry now that my background is totally dry I'm going to place my pattern in here and align to the ground and the only thing I'm going to trace this time are these trees for my trees on the distance I've just mixed the same three colors to create a medium gray blue and I'm going to use a small angle brush for the tree trunks. And you can be as creative as you can with your branches. We're going to cover here because these trees are buried in the snow. And with my small liner brush, I'm going to add snow and highlight on the branches. Whatever you want to, but maybe on this side that is closer to the light source. with your trees we're going to let this dry again once your pretty background is done and it's dry we are going to align secure it with some tape 
and we're going to transfer the deer, the large trees on the sides, and the star. Okay, I have transferred my reindeer, the large trees on the side, and my star. I did my star with white carbon paper. Now with a liner brush, I'm going to trace my reindeer with black, and I'm going to fill them in. I'm going to start by tracing them. And then filling them in. I think it's going to be easier to do this on a flat surface. And I'm going to leave a little bit of the, the lines that define the body because I'm going to go back and add some highlights on the reindeer. So I don't want to totally miss the shape of his body. Reindeer have very large hooves. If you make a mistake, just clean it up with a damp brush and nothing has happened here. And we're gonna do the other two reindeer the same way as we did this one. You might need uh, two coats of black to make sure it's really, really dark. And take your time. But if you make a mistake, don't worry. You can clean it up with a damp brush or with a Q-tip. Okay, my three reindeer are done. Now, you can leave them as is, if you like, but I'm going to add some highlight on my reindeer. And for that, I'm using this very small filbert brush. It's old, so the bristles are a little bit messy, which is what I want. And I've mixed a really light gray with some black and white. And with just a little bit of paint on my brush, I'm going to add some highlights on my animal. As if the light is coming and highlighting them. More so on the on the front part of the animal. And on the front of the leg. Gonna add some highlight to this one. And with our liner brush and a lighter gray, I'm going to add some highlight on the antlers. I'm using a very, very light gray, almost white. We're going to add some on the front of the leg.
just a little bit of highlight to give the animal more dimension. Add a little shine on the nose. Once we're happy with our reindeer, we're gonna mix our colors to create a medium blue gray. We're going to add some shadow from our reindeer onto the snow. Just to give the painting more more dimension. And the shadow is going to have movement because the snow is here. Just a very subtle effect like that. Going to pick up some of the blue. Sorry, my palette is getting very messy and some black, we're going to create a dark, dark blue. And with our round brush, we're going to start adding the larger trees on the sides. And we're just gonna dab our brush to create the, the branches. And this tree is in front of this reindeer. We're peeking through this, this valley and we can see them. We can add a little bit of white and add some highlight in here. Not very dark in here. Just to give the tree some dimension. We're gonna do the same on the other tree. I'm just dabbing and leaving some see-through effect, some see-through the branches effect. We want darker on the edge. And we're gonna add lighter in this area. We're also going to add some bushes in here. We're gonna add some white to create some snow. Just dabbing again with an old round brush. We're adding the snow only on the top of the branches and just more so in this area, not all over the tree. And we're gonna add some snow on our bushes here. With an angled brush and some light blue gray, we can add the effect of grass too, peeking through the snow. Okay, my friends, we're almost done. The last thing we're gonna do is our Christmas star. For my Christmas star, I'm going to use a small flat brush. You can use a liner brush if you prefer, or an angle brush, whatever brush you prefer. But I feel I have more control with a flat brush. So I'm just gonna draw a line
with the same brush and some clean water we can clean up we want our uh, star to be nice and straight just like a cross With the back of a small brush, we can dab some small stars in the sky too. Once the star is dry, go over it again with more white so it looks really nice and bright okay my friends our beautiful painting is done i'm going to leave it the way it is if you want you could add some platinum or silver in some of the branches maybe some of the stars but i'm i'm going to leave mine the way it is I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed doing this painting. If you would like to support this channel, you can do so with a coffee. I'm going to link my coffee page below. If you like this video, please give it a like, share it with your friends, comment below, and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any future content from me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one.